If you're not an A grade student, then you need to keep watching this video. I found the best chat GPT prompts for any student who wishes to study smarter, quicker, and also pass their exams in flying colors. Thanks to powerful AI tools like ChatGPT and Google Bard, studying has become a lot more easier. Especially if you're someone who hates reading lengthy notes and turning over pages of big textbooks just to be able to understand the basic concept of the topic that you're reading. It's safe to say ChatGPT and Google Bard is like the study friend we never had. Imagine having a study partner who never gets tired, who is always available, and who can explain even the most complex topics in the simplest way possible. Now, these tools are not new and they have been there for a very long time, but there are still a lot of students who are unable to get these tools to produce the exact result that they need. And that is because they are not giving it the right prompts. Now, prompting is basically the command that you give to these tools. Remember that ChatGPT and Google Bard is still a robot, so it cannot act human and it cannot think human, it cannot read your mind. So unless you are as specific in your command, these tools are not going to give you the exact results that you need. So what I did was I decided to take a prompt engineering course to better understand how to get these tools to produce the results that I need. And that is why in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you not five, but 10 chat GPT prompts for any students. Now, these prompts are there to guide you through creating summaries, generating practice questions, explaining difficult concepts, and even organize a better study schedule for you. We're going to be giving ChatGPT our prompt following the five essential prompt rules for generating precise or near exact results. And that's because ChatGPT is known to give overcomplicated and robotic response. So you need to follow these prompt rules when you're giving your command to ChatGPT. Rule number one is to give ChatGPT a specific role. You need to tell ChatGPT exactly what you want it to be. Rule number two is to clearly write down what you want ChatGPT to do for you. So you need to be as specific as possible in your command. Rule number three is to give an example of how you want it to give you your response. Rule number four is to tell ChatGPT how you want it to write for you. That is your preferred tone of voice and your writing style. The last rule, rule number five, is to describe exactly how you want the output of your result. Do you want it in table format, in point form? In how many words do you want your response to be written? Do you have like a limit or a maximum? Now, you need to put all of this into consideration when you're giving your prompt. So with that said, here are 10 ChatGPT prompts that is going to help you study a lot faster and of course help you ace all your tests. Now, the first prompt is to help you summarize your notes. For example, if you have a long note and you have limited time to read, now you can give ChatGPT this prompt. And then copy and paste your note here. And ChatGPT is going to help you summarize your entire note. And of course, while focusing on the main concept or the main points on the notes. Now, if you have but a handwritten notes, you can easily convert it into an editable document. I'm going to leave the link of that video where I show you how you can easily convert handwritten notes into editable documents so that you can easily copy and paste it into ChatGPT. Prompt number two is to create flashcards in a question and answer format from your notes. So you're going to give ChatGPT this prompt and then you're going to copy your notes and paste it at the end. And of course, feel free to make necessary adjustments either by changing the subject or the topic and then ChatGPT is going to create a flashcard for you. As you can see, it's going to create a flashcard in a question and answer format. Now, this is the best way to brush through a lengthy note without having to spend a lot of time on your book. So this is a great way to go through a lengthy note without wasting a lot of time. Prompt number three is to create flashcard. And this time we're going to specify the number of flashcards that we need. And of course, this time we're going to be putting our output in a table format, as you can see. Now give ChatGPT this prompt. And again, copy and paste your note at the end. And you're going to see that ChatGPT is going to give you your flashcards in the question and answer format. And it's going to put it in a table, just like what you're seeing. Prompt number four is to help you to answer some past questions. Now, if you are studying using past questions, past multiple choice questions, this is a great prompt that you can use to help you to answer 
the questions and of course give you the reasons why the questions are correct and why the other ones are not correct now again write down the prompts and then copy and place the question and you're going to see a detailed explanation as to why the answer is correct and the other ones are wrong so this is a great way to help you revise certain concepts or certain topics that usually comes in the exams that you might have some difficulties understanding Prompt number five is to create multiple choice questions from your notes. Now, let's say you have already revised and maybe you want to test yourself. Now you can copy this prompt and paste it and then copy your notes, the notes that you've read, you've already read, and then you paste it in here and then chat GPT is going to create some multiple choice questions from the notes that you have given it. And then you can revise and test yourself if you are able to understand what you just read. One of the best ways to easily remember important concept terms in your note is by using acronyms, mnemonics, or even songs because it sticks well. So if you're having a hard time remembering some important terms or important formulas or concepts in your notes, you can create acronyms. So give ChatGPT this prompt and then you can just copy and paste your note and ChatGPT is going to help you create some cool acronyms that you can use to remember those terms or words. All right, let's take a look at the perfect example, which of course we're going to be using chemistry and we're going to be choosing carboxylic acids. Now let's copy this note and then come here and paste. And let's take a look at some of the cool acronyms that is going to give us right now. Carboxylic acids are made up of, all right, so here it is. Here are the derivatives of carboxylic acid. You have aldehyde ketones, right? So let's check. Okay. Now this is a mnemonics and you can see the acronyms it gives us is all kinds can easily accept carboxylic acid now that's a great one right so if you don't like it you can always change it but this is a great concept or great way to easily memorize certain concepts number seven chat gpt prompts is creating mind maps now if you are a visual person and you understand better with visuals then you can create mind maps now just give chat gpt this prompt and again make sure to include the topic that you want to create your mind map for for example photosynthesis as you can see and you can see that it breaks it down this is the mind map as you can see it goes down and labels down each processes and so it's a great way if you're more of a visual person and you like to study with visuals now let's change the topic to transpiration and let's see what it creates As you can see, it breaks it down from the definition, the importance, the different types, factors affecting transpiration, mechanism. Now, this is a great way to read through an entire topic, right? So if you don't have enough time to read through or maybe you need to revise a topic before your class, this is a great way to do so. Another visual that you can create is flow chart. Now, let's change it to a flow chart and let's see. So it's basically the same thing if you're more of a visual person. Now, let's see how um, the flow chart that it creates. All right. So this is it. You can see the flow chart. You see the entire process. Again, this is one of the best ways to study through an entire topic. As you can see, it breaks it down using simple steps also helps you to know exactly what you should be focusing on when reading that topic prompt number eight is to help you create a suitable study and revision timetable for you based on your schedule and of course your subjects so you're going to give chat gpt this prompt and of course make the necessary changes like the days that you're available the time that you're available to read or to study um, the subjects that you're offering the topics that you want to cover during maybe your test or maybe during the exams now depending on all of that to so make the necessary adjustment to this prompt and then chat gpt is going to give you a perfect study schedule for you
so as you can see it spread out the different topics that you need to cover for each of the subjects and not just that it also gives you the key points or key concepts that you need to focus on on those particular days and time Number nine chat GPT prompt again is visual representation and this is for those who understand better with visuals, right? You're going to give this prompt to chat GPT and you can see that it breaks down everything so perfectly and it gives you the different processes. And one thing I love about this visual representations is that it just gives you the main points and what you need to know. So it just gives you short, short notes to be able to for those of you who don't like reading long notes and you're scared of long notes so this is perfect as it simplifies everything and it gives you exactly what you need and the processes it details down the processes with this visual presentations Number 10 chat GPT prompt is for writing essays and research project papers. Now this is perfect for final year college students. All you need to do is to write down your topic first and then you copy and paste down this prompt and it's going to basically help you to write an entire essay for you. And so this is basically going to help guide you, especially for final year students. It's going to help guide you as to how to write your projects. Now a bonus chat GPT prompt is this one that is going to help quickly test your knowledge by writing down some multiple choice questions on a particular topic that you're reading. All right, so these are some of the multiple choice questions that it has come up with. So you can just go ahead to test yourself and not just that. When you scroll right down, you're going to see it gives you the correct answers and also the detailed explanation as to why that answer is correct and why the other ones are wrong. So with this, you can first of all test your knowledge first and then at the end, you see if you're correct or wrong. All right, guys, so those are the 10 chat GPT prompts plus an extra bonus that I have for you today. Now, if you try out any of these prompts, let me know in the comment section which of them you love the most. And again, if you're interested in more prompts, check out the 30 chat GPT prompts I have listed in an ebook. The link of that ebook is going to be in the description. I bet you with this 30 chat GPT prompts in your reach, chat GPT is going to be your best study partner. The aim here is to study smarter and not harder. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next video.